the Netflix film that started a Christmas revolution. I am Sanderson. So welcome. This month I'm concentrating more on Netflix Christmas films because with the hustle and bustle of the holidays, it's easier to just relax with the Netflix Christmas film and some eggnog. Today we're starting out with a Christmas Prince. A Christmas Prince is a 2017 Netflix film about a tabloid reporter who falls in love with a prince. Sound cheesy? It is. And you'll love it. The Christmas Prince stars Rose MacGyver as Amber, a tabloid reporter, Ben Lamb as Prince Richard, Prince of Aldovia, a fake country. Princess Emily is played by underneath C. Alice Krieg is Queen Helena. Emma works for tabloid. They have a scoop. Aldovia's playboy prince is thinking about abdicating the throne after his father's death. It's Amber's big break off the copy desk and she's dispatched to Aldovia for the story. In Aldovia, Amber makes an end run around the guards and winds up in the castle where she meets Princess Emily and she and Emily pretend that she is Emily's new tutor. To me, Princess Emily is the jewel of this film. She's a princess who has spina bifida, which is a rare developmental disability. Even though the actress who plays Emily doesn't have spina bifida, it's still an important portrayal. Some quick facts on spina bifida. Spina bifida is caused when the spine doesn't fully form. Some people use a wheelchair to get around, while other people walk needing some support like crutches and raises, or they walk like me with no support. Spina bifida is a tiny disability. Only 1,600 Americans are born with it a year. Spina bifida is mostly prevented with folic acid pills. This is one of the reasons why women who think they are pregnant should take folic acid. By comparison, I observe a palsy and 200,000 Americans are born with it a year. This is why I was happy that Spina Bifida was featured in A Christmas Prince because people need to know what it is. In the beginning, Emily is sullen, but anyone would be if they were constantly being treated as a child because they have a disability. Amber is the first tutor who treats Emily like an average kid. She takes Emily outside and they go on a toboggan ride. Amber also discovers that Emily is excellent at archery. Amber blogs about her life. It's a rather interesting thing to have in this kind of a movie. I'm mentioning it now because I'll get more into it in A Christmas Prince 2, which came out this year, 2018. Overall, this movie is a lot like The Princess Diaries starring Anne Hathaway, Julie and Andrews. My girlfriend just watched a Christmas Prince 
this morning and she thought the same thing. You can also watch The Prince and Me starring Julia Stiles for more Prince and the Pupper action. So while this isn't treading any new ground as far as plots, I'm sure this will put you in the Christmas spirit. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, visit my comments in the section below, and I really want to thank you for being here today and watching my video. It means a lot to me, and I'll see you in the next one.